I'm about to do my makeup. One thing about working from home, you have to be focused. 9.13, I'm gonna try to be done with my makeup. No later than 9.45, period. So, I'm gonna try to show you how I do my 15 minute face. If this don't work out. So first, I like to start off with my brows, and basically with the brows, you don't want to go in too heavy. You want to kind of just start off with some light strokes, especially when you're dealing with a darker pencil, because you don't want to be looking like Miss Potato Head. And I'm basically just kind of feathering out, creating more hairs towards the middle, just to bring my eyebrows in a little bit closer. And then I am going under and just cleaning that up with my MAC concealer. And then I'm going to use that same MAC concealer to basically just cover up any dark spots because today we're not using any foundation. For one, it's just way too hot. And for two, you want to be given skin, honey. You don't want to be given, you know, cake face. Like, you know, we'll save that for the special occasions. But for now, we just want to keep it natural. So, yeah, I'm taking my powder and I'm just going in and I am just covering up any spots that I missed when I was cleaning up the brows with the concealer. And then you want to take that brush and you just want to blend, blend, blend. I can't express the importance of just blending like blending is key. When you blend, always just blend some more. So then I'm taking my Burnt Orange from my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm just adding some color to my eye. Again, we keeping this real natural. You just wanna give like a natural beat. So we're just adding a little bit of color. This is gonna be the base color. I'm not really big on eyeshadow to be totally honest. So yeah, I don't really do that a lot. And then I'm taking Raw Sienna from the same palette and I'm kind of just neutralizing the rest of the under brow area just so that the first color can pop a little bit more. Be careful not to mess up your brows, ladies. And then, you know, you wanna just clean that up just a little bit more. I'm just going in underneath just to make sure that that stays sharp and popping. So then I'm taking my concealer, I'm using toffee first, toffee is the darker color and I'm basically just going in and just going under my brows. I touch up my nose, I do the like pointiest part of my nose and then I do the bridge of my nose underneath my lip, my cupid's bow, just anywhere that you want the light to pop. Like concealer is for anywhere you want the light to go. And then I take my um, sponge and I'm just blending that in very lightly because you don't want to take up any of the concealer that you just put on. And then I'm using a darker concealer just to contour my nose out. I like a snatch nose, the button nose. So I kind of am just creating that shape with the darker concealer. And then I use that to kind of carve out my cheekbones a little bit underneath my jawbone, you know, the bridge of my nose, just to again give it that, you know, pointy kind of button fairy tale nose. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, you want to take that. I'm taking the end of that brush and I'm just blending it a little bit. Blending is very important. And then I'm gonna take my Invisiblur. This is like the goat when it comes to blending because it's just very soft. I use it under my makeup as well as when I'm trying to blend in just so that I don't have any sharp, harsh lines. And I'm just taking my brush. I obviously need some new brushes. I've had these forever, but you know, they do the job. So you gotta use what you got, sis, and save you a coin. So yeah, I'm gonna go back in with the lighter concealer, which is Fawn, and I'm just gonna go back in just to eliminate any darkness under my eye, just to make things pop a little bit more, to clean up that contour on my nose a little bit. And you just wanna continue to blend, continue to blend. 
water break. Hydration is so very important when it comes to skin. You wanna layer the concealer as much as possible while blending. Sometimes the sponge can like take it up a little bit. Then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just setting. I kind of, I don't really bake, but I set it by just like blowing off the excess and just pressing it into my face to the point where I don't have to like brush it off. And then I'm just gonna add some warmness back into my skin with the MAC Mineralized Sun Powder Bronzer. This is like the GOAT. And that just warms up your skin. And then I use my MAC Sheer Blush. It's very light, so you can build with it. And that's just to add a little rosiness to my cheeks. I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder, which is a little bit um, warmer than the translucent powder, just to contour underneath my cheekbones to make it sharp. Snatch those cheekbones. I'm blending everything with my MAC Dark Powder, just to make sure that everything is blending. And then of course, this is the Holy Grail, the Gold Deposit by MAC Cosmetics. It's super lit. And I'm just going on the bridge of my nose, at the tip of my nose, because, I mean, this may not work for some people, but this is just how I like my makeup. I love my nose to be shining. And then I'm taking Vermeer and Primavera, and I'm just going in, in the corners of my eyes, just because it just makes it pop even more. That's so pretty, yes. And then I just do like a little, little bit on my nose a little bit just to make it sparkle a little bit more, just to highlight it a little bit more. You see the difference? Oh, she lit. Okay. So then, yeah, I'm just blending out that contour on my nose even more. Blending everything out. Blending is so important, y'all. And then when I don't have bottom lashes on, I just like to create the illusion of bottom lashes. So I'll do like little dots underneath my tear line. And then I use my All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay just to set everything and give me a little dewiness. And I felt like I wanted to go a little bit lighter under my eyes. So I'm using the NARS Medium Dark 2 just in the corners, like just by my nose. You don't want to blend that all the way out. You want to keep it to the middle of your face because this is just going to bring more highlight to the middle of your face. Because the closer things are to the middle, the slimmer your face looks. I'm setting that with some more setting powder just to snatch it even more and just give it dimension. Yes. Yep, and we're gonna just brush that down with a brush, which probably has like a little bit of dark powder on it, just to make sure that that flashback is not, you know, too harsh when I take my pictures. Wipe the product off of my lips and just any dead skin, and I go in with my dark brown um, pencil from NYX. I go in with my MAC Cream Cup Sheen Lipstick. It's so very soft. And I use Vaseline on my lips first. I don't think I showed that, but yeah, moisture is key. I don't like a dry lip. And I put a little bit of highlighter on the middle of it to give me the illusion of a Cupid's bow. And then I got this lip gloss from Walgreens, I wanna say. And I love it. it kind of has like a little tingly effect to it or like a cooling effect to it. And it feels really good on my lips. Lasts a long time, has a nice little flavor to it just in case you kiss your boo. And I'm just taking a brush one last time and just going over anything. And then boom, we lit sis. Easy peasy, straight like that. That's my everyday face. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys. Mwah. You guys, I actually finished before 9.45, so we on a roll. Let's get on this live.